I feel very happy, uh, very grateful uh, to be able to uh, cross those six years uh, alone and then uh, do uh, everything that I could and uh, clear this examination. Russia is a beautiful country. The people are very friendly. I do miss Russia. It's been one and a half years since I'm back. The moment you decide to uh, move abroad and do your MBBS, uh, that is the very moment you know that uh, you are going to face the FMG examination after uh, six years. Exam day ke pehle aur exam day ke din bhi bahut hi calm aur apne aap ko ekdam relax feel kar kar lena chahiye ki exam hi hai koi na ho jayega like that. You have that passion in you, which is why you have taken this big step uh, of traveling to another country and uh, doing your studies. Do not let that passion uh, die. Hi, my name is Nida Khan. I am from Mumbai. I did my MBBS from Mari State University, Russia. I cleared my FMG examination in Jan 25 with a score of 2 and 2 marks. Uh, this was my very first attempt. Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Dipti Sanjay Ghar. Uh, I am from uh, Manila and I cleared my FMG examination in very first attempt with a score of 184. My name is Dr. Hanisha Sunil Pahuja. I am from Mumbai a graduate from Perm State Medical University. I cleared my FMG from, uh, this year in December 2024 with a score of 153. I feel very happy, uh, very grateful uh, to be able to uh, cross those six years uh, alone and then uh, do uh, everything that I could and uh, clear this examination. I am feeling very, uh, very happy um, uh, environment. Uh, around me, my family, uh, family, friends, relatives, they are all happy because we have uh, first uh, generation doctor as I am first generation doctor. I started my preparation from the fourth year and I took help from the online platforms as well as uh, the classes conducted by Roos Education in the university itself. I actually FMG ke liye, uh, preparation for FMG preparation for 4th year. Ki thi, but the uh, revision is the same way for an exam. There is no time for it here. Because there are also exams the university, ke exam bhi hoti hai, practicals, uh, classes etc. So at that time, it can be balanced. Since uh, the beginning it was tough but friends do play a major role because living abroad is not easy and if you don't have a good company you will feel all lonely. Hostels were good, we, it became very easier for us to accommodate and everything and the teachers were friendly who helped us a lot in teaching us the language which was necessary for us to survive. Russian was difficult though, but the teachers and all the every faculty, everything made it very easy for us. Uh, the very first year I went to Russia uh, was very uh, homesickening and uh, a very uh, struggling phase for me because I am a total introvert. Uh, it took me a lot of time to adjust between my group mates. Uh, it took me a lot of uh, internal effort to adjust to my surroundings. First of all, uh, first year, uh, in Russia, in abroad, uh, in Russia, it will be difficult because uh, as it is a new place, you have to understand everything starting from the language, food, everything changes, uh, winters uh, and harsh winters, everything is like new for us. But after first year, you will settle down and everything will be uh, good. Now that I'm here in India, uh, the uh, very first thing I miss is uh, that time uh, because those six years would, would never return to me. Even now, I uh, can afford to go to Russia. I can go with my friends, I can go with my family, but uh, the, the very situation which I was in, those six years, those uh, university days would never return. So that uh, is something which uh, makes me feel very nostalgic. Russia is a beautiful country. The people are very friendly. I do miss Russia. It's been one and a half years since I'm back and I do miss. I have visited a couple of places which include St. Petersburg and Moscow.
I come from very uh, middle class family and uh, background uh, my father is farmer and along uh, along with he do uh, like uh, small small businesses so uh, from that he used to send me uh, amount every month and it will be so emotional for me if i talk now uh, but uh, kumar ma'am sana ma'am were always in my journey and they helped me a lot and i used to be always in touch uh, with them rose education has helped in every possible way so giving admissions helping us out there conducting classes for us documentation everything first of all uh, they showed a path uh, to russia and uh, after that also in 6 years uh, journey they were always with me uh, sana ma'am uh, kumar ma'am they used to always be in contact with me when i did not clear my neat in my second attempt uh, i did not have uh, a lot of uh, plans uh, as to what uh, further i should do uh, which is why uh, which is when uh, i came across uh, a youtube video of rus education um, i did not have idea about what it is uh, what it does how the procedure is uh, i did my own research i found out about uh, how the procedure is how everything uh, works and then uh, i consulted them uh, they were there uh, whenever Uh, uh, we needed them definitely was a good decision choosing russia to graduate and get my medical degree uh, my immediate plans are uh, not very uh, specific or uh, uh, enlarged as such i only plan to relax uh, uh, spend time with my family uh, with my friends uh, enjoy my time being home and yeah wait for the internship to begin uh the moment you decide to uh, move abroad and do your mbbs uh, that is the very moment you know that uh, you are going to face the fmg examination after 6 uh, years so uh, your preparation uh, really starts uh, from the very first day you join into an mbbs college go to the university attend your classes solve mcqs every day give grant tests attend the lectures conducted by rus education it helps a lot exam day ke pehle aur exam day ke din bhi बहुत ही काम और अपने आप को एकदम रिलैक्स फील कर कर लेना चाहिए कि एग्ज़ाम ये कोई ना हो जाएगा लाइक दैट सो अ बिग थैंक्स टू ऑल द टीचर्स द होल फैकल्टी एट होम स्टेट मेडिकल यूनिवर्सिटी हु हेल्प आज रीच यूर विदाउट देम नथिंग इज पॉसिबल